I'm going to explain what read replicas are, why you absolutely need them for your Postgres database, and why you should be super excited about what we're working on in this space. But before we jump into replicas, what's the problem we're actually trying to solve? Let's say we have a Superbase project with its region set to US West. This is awesome for everyone here, and also pretty good for people over here, but once you get outside the US, and especially once you get over to this little island called Australia, where I live, latency becomes a lot more noticeable. You may have heard of the edge. No, not that edge. Yeah, that one. This is an architectural pattern which attempts to solve a similar problem where rather than having a single server that responds to every request, regardless of where the user is coming from, you have servers distributed all over the world. So whenever someone visits your site, their request goes to the closest possible server. But this doesn't really solve the issue of reading and writing data, as usually the database is a single source of truth that lives in one physical location. So even if that first request hits a server geographically close to the user, it still needs to send a request back to the origin database to get the data. Now with read rep replicas, if the user needs data from the database, they hit the server that's super close to their location, and then the server can request data from the database that's super close to its location, making the distance traveled a whole lot less, meaning much faster response times with the actual data the user wants to see, not just a page full of silly loading spinners. So really, I'm just making Superbase prioritize the features that make things faster for me in Australia, so I don't need to move somewhere a little more sensible. Thanks, mate! So this works super well for reading data, but what about writing? Well, they're called read replicas, not write replicas, so any request to insert, update, or delete data will still need to go back to that primary database, but then the process of propagating those changes out to all of the read replicas is automatically handled for you. So how do you get access to this awesome new feature? Check out the link to the blog in the description. And while we're on the topic of advanced Superbase features, you should totally check out this video right here to learn all about branching and how this can be used to optimize your collaborative workflow. But until next time, Keep building cool stuff.